While programming any CNC program, we use a variety of codes. Most common and popular among them are G codes and M codes. G codes are known as preparatory functions or preparatory codes and are used for tool motion and tool motion control directly or indirectly. M codes are known as miscellaneous functions or miscellaneous codes and are used to turn on or off machine tools physical functions such as spindle motor rotation, cutting fluid, etc. Standardized G codes and M codes are well defined by the International Organization for Standardization but they might vary from controller to controller. For example, units for length and diameter value in case of FANU controller is defined by code G20 and G21 where G20 means dimensions in inches and G21 means dimensions in mm. On the other hand, in the case of Siemens controller, these units are defined by codes G70 and G71, where G70 means dimensions in inches and G71 means dimensions in mm. In order to move a tool in a CNC machine, we use one of the four G codes available. These codes are directly involved in tool motion. These four codes are G00, G01, G02 and G03. G00 is known as rapid traverse command or linear interpolation with rapid feed. G01 is known as linear interpolation command. G02 is known as circular interpolation command clockwise. And G03 is known as circular interpolation command counterclockwise. We will try to understand these codes with one example. Let us consider the case of a CNC turning machine. Let's say we have two positions in the machine. As we know that CNC turning is a two axis machine, this direction is X and this direction is Z. Coordinate for the first position is 0, 0, second position is 20 mm towards the right and 20 mm above. So, the coordinate for the second position will be 20, 20. Let's consider that the tool is currently at position 0, 0 and we need to move a tool to second position that is 20, 20. We have four different ways to move the tool from position number 1 to position number 2. According to first method, we will program a block G00, X20, Z20, semicolon. With this block, the controller will give a command to move a tool linearly to a coordinate position 20, 20 with rapid feed rate. Rapid feed is a maximum allowable feed for a tool saved by default in a controller. Generally, rapid feed units are mm per minute. Rapid feed varies from machine to machine, but few common values are 2000 mm per minute, 5000 mm per minute, or even 10,000 mm per minute. According to second method, we will program a block G01, X20, Z20, F0.20, semicolon. With this block, the controller will give a command to move a tool linearly to a coordinate position 20, 20 with the feed rate defined by the programmer in the same block. 
Feed units can be mm per revolution or mm per minute depending upon the code given in the program headers that is G95 for mm per revolution and G94 for mm per minute in the case of Siemens controller. Both G00 and G01 are used for linear motion but the basic difference is that when G00 is used, the tool will move fast but when G01 is used, the tool will move with a control feed rate programmed by the programmer. So while non-productive motions such as approaching the workpiece, taking depth of cut or even retracting away from the workpiece, we can use G00 to reduce the overall cycle time and to make the process more productive. But while cutting linearly, we don't have any other option except tool motion with a controlled feed rate that is using code G01. According to third method, we will program a block G02, X20, Z20, C R equals to 20. F 0.20 semicolon. With this block, the controller will give a command to move a tool in circular path to a coordinate position 20, 20 with radius 20 in clockwise direction with the feed defined by the programmer in the same block. This block represents the Siemens controller programming as we are using CR for the radius. Feed units can be mm per revolution or mm per minute depending upon the code given in the program headers that is G95 for mm per revolution and G94 for mm per minute in the case of Siemens controller. According to fourth method, we will program a block G03, X20, Z20, CR equals to 20, F 0.20 semicolon. With this block, the controller will give a command to move a tool in circular path to a coordinate position 20, 20 with radius 20 in counterclockwise direction with the feed defined by the programmer in the same block. This block also represents the Siemens controller programming as we are using CR for the radius. Feed units can be mm per revolution or mm per minute depending upon the code given in the program headers that is G95 for mm per revolution and G94 for mm per minute in the case of Siemens controller. I am going to conclude this topic by considering one example. Let's say this is a profile we need to make on a workpiece. This profile has different features such as linear surface, curved surface 1, curved surface 2 and a tapered surface. Right now the tool is at a home position. Let's define few coordinates. This is 170,5. This is 40,5. This one is 40 comma minus 40. This coordinate is 80 comma minus 80. This coordinate is 120 comma minus 120. And the last coordinate is 160 comma minus 160. Radius for this curved surface is 20. And the radius for the second curved surface is also 20. At first, we will call a tool at this position with command G00 X170 Z5 known as safe positioning. Then we will bring the tool down by the command G00 X40 Z5 known as depth of cut pass. After that we will start machining the profile. So our first block will be G01 X40 Z minus 40 F 
0.15. Second block will be G02 X80 Z minus 80 CR equals to 20 F 0.20. Third block will be G03 X120 Z minus 120 CR equals to 20 F 0.15 and the final machining block will be G01 X160 Z minus 160 F 0.10.